Hi, I'm Miss Laura from the Franklin Park Public Library, and we're going to be making maracas today. So for making your maracas, you're going to need to have scissors and white glue. So go ahead and take out uh, what's inside your maracas kit. Uh, you have a couple of tubes, uh, cardboard tubes, and foil, colored paper, and um, these the beans will be used to make uh, to fill up the maracas once you close off the ends. And there's also a paintbrush. The paintbrush is going to be used to apply the glue. Okay, so the first thing you're you're going to want to do, actually, first of all, is the colored paper that you have is um, blue, red, white, and green. So. You, uh, basically, you can use these to decorate in, in the colors of the flags from, um, here are the colors from, this is uh, red, white, and green are the colors of the Mexican flag. And then um, red, white, and blue is the color of the United States flag. It's also the color of many flags of South America, South and Central America, including uh, Puerto Rico, Cuba, Costa Rica, Dom uh, Dominican Republic, Chile, Paraguay, um, Panama, um, Nic let's see, Nicaragua, Nicaragua uses uh, blue and white. The blue is more of a lighter blue, like a sky blue. Uh, Guatemala, Argentina use a light blue and a white. Um, Honduras uses dark blue and white. Uh, so, so basically, you, you can use these to decorate in some of the flag's colors of um, Central and South America. Um, okay, so to start, the first thing you're going to do is cover, is kind of close off the ends of these, um, these paper rolls. Uh, we, we're going to use the foil to do that. So cut the foil into squares. Okay, and then um, I think that I'm actually going to use um, maybe some, what, so just some scratch paper, and I will use that to put the glue on, to pour some of the glue on, to, uh, there we go, um, and then I can dip the brush into this glue as I need it. So with the foil, uh, you basically will use this to close off the end of the tube. So you can do that. And you, so go ahead and kind of close this off like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this off once I did that, and I'll put glue on it. Uh, so I'll dip the brush in the glue. and paint around the top. So the, this is just kind of an, a way, using the brush is just kind of a way to uh, be able to use, put the glue all around it. You want to use white glue because it will be stronger than, than using a glue stick for, um, for this. And then you can put the foil over it and kind of press it down, kind of try to smooth it out as much as possible. You're going to be putting colored paper over the top of this. So, um, like that. And just kind of set this off to the side. And then uh, do, do both of them. Do the same on both of your uh, cardboard tubes. 
So I've just put glue on a piece of paper and then I'm painting the glue onto the cardboard tube and kind of holding it over the piece of paper, like scratch paper. And you also probably want to have something underneath where you're working to catch any glue. So I covered that um, with uh, glue again on the, on the other tube. And then I'll put the foil over and flatten it and kind of press it down onto the glue. It doesn't have to be completely perfect, but you do want this to, to uh, have be co completely covered in glue so that it'll make a good, it'll stick to it and be strong once you have the beans in it. So now once you have both of these, um, set these here and put your beans, pour half of the beans into each one. So the beans are what makes the sound inside of these maracas. So kind of pour carefully, pour about half into one. Whoops, spilled a couple of them. And pour a half into the other one. There we go. And then, uh, now we're going to do that. We're going to close off the top part with this, the same way with the foil. The same way. So go ahead and paint glue all around this, around the top part. So you definitely do want to get a, a good amount of glue on on these when you're um, to be able to glue the foil on. Take uh, you have four pieces of foil. Take uh, one more and put it over the top and press it down. And it, try to make a really good seal. Go all the way around and press all the way around it. Okay. Now uh, finish up with the last piece of your, your last square of foil, do the same thing on your other maraca. Now you kind of, you really want to give these some good time to dry before you start shaking them around because you could actually, before the glue is dry, you could actually start to shake the foil loose from it. But um, this is a, this is these are not done. We're gonna put the colored paper on it. Um, so uh, what I'm gonna do is decorate one of these uh, in green, white, and red, like the Mexican flag, and then I'll do an, the other one in red, white, and blue, like um, Cuba, Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic, Chile. Um, let's see. Uh, Paraguay, and so many other flags also have red, white, and blue. So I, did you know that, that there were so many red, white, and uh, blue flags in addition to the United States flag? So um, the way that we'll do this is, um, so I, what I'll do is cut, go ahead and cut uh, the white, and you're going to, take these strips and glue it around uh, the middle and then I'll, we'll glue the colored ends on the colored pieces on the end. So this will have uh, green and red and the other one will have blue and red. So um, the colors are going to represent, we're not going to create the whole flag on the side of the maraca, but we'll uh, use the colors to represent uh, the different, the colors of the different flag. Uh, go ahead and grab more glue if you need it. You're going to need a good amount of glue for this. Uh, definitely, this is one of those things that it's good to do this over um, a scratch piece of paper. And then go ahead and just uh, put a really good amount of glue on this. Paint the whole middle part of it, and then you're going to cover this with the white paper. You'll worry about the ends um, later. So uh, you don't really need to cut the paper either to make it shorter because you can wrap it around um, a couple of times. So this. So then you have this. And 
this these will help it to um, kind of it will also kind of reinforce and make it stronger the more layers that are on it so once uh, this is on there go ahead and, and uh, just wrap the paper around the glue uh, when you come to this part where it started to overlap that's a good thing just go ahead and uh, on this flat just paint a little uh, glue on here and this will uh, close this up so this will cause this uh, be help this to close up so once that's uh, you know you can roll it around again and and put that on so now you have the middle part of that one and you'll repeat this step with your second tube uh, also with white So once you have both of these with the center part uh, well covered in white, you can now add your colors to the ends. Um, so you're going to need, um, uh, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of measure a little bit so that what we want is a third. We want a third red, a third white, and a third green or blue. Uh, so kind of measure about a third, uh, which is about this much probably. Hold it to the top like this. So this will create a stripe. So just kind of cut this. Since we're going to be using red on both of them, I'm going to go ahead and cut two reds. So you have two strips, so we'll put red on, on the end of each one of them. Now for this, for the red, you're going to paint over the foil. You're going to be gluing the red, the colors, on top of this foil, and that will also help to kind of hold the foil down. Uh, so only paint like about a third of the area, only the part where the red is going to go, and paint glue onto that. Again, once again, you want to have a good amount of glue and you want to kind of cover, be sure to kind of cover all of the areas. Um, it's okay if you kind of get a little bit more on the white. Um, so once you do that, go ahead and put the red on. Let's see for a minute. Yeah, put it on uh, to the end of the end of the tube and just really kind of try to smooth and press this down onto it and the the same thing again when when there's an overlap that's good you can go ahead and uh, paint some glue on this and just kind of continue rolling this and cover up the um, and uh, make the rest of the red area Let's see if it. Let's see how it sounds. They already sound pretty good. Here is one more kicker that you may uh, want to do. This is the final step, which is optional, but this will really uh, ensure that it's very quite strong. Is um, it's a technique. A lot of people do it with Mod Podge, but it, this is a simple technique where you'll paint the whole thing on the outside with the white glue, minus the foil. Don't paint on the foil, but go ahead and just, you would take the time to paint this whole thing in glue. And what that'll do um, is it'll be kind of shiny once it dries and it'll, it will have kind of a hard co coating, protective coating. It'll be harder. 
uh, stronger and the, the outside right now it looks like a kind of glumpy and it doesn't look, um, it doesn't look that good, but once the glue dries, it'll be clear and, uh, have kind of a, a little bit of a shininess to it. If you decide to paint your uh, maraca with uh, all over with glue, you want to set it on the end to dry and you want to give it a good amount of time to dry out. Enjoy your new maracas. Thank you for watching.